What's up? So this is video two of five. We're going to be talking about, okay, now we've bought into doing an event. Okay. We want to put together an event. We want to create more influence in the world. So now where do we start? So where you start, you start with where you should be starting with everything, which is the foundation of your business. Okay, and the foundation of your business is your brand. Where most people start, they usually start up here. So I'm gonna draw, draw a little quick diagram. Looking for my marker, there it is. Okay, so how most people build their business, okay, and if you've watched any of my videos, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm gonna draw right here. And the reason why I go over this is because everything you first do in your business starts with this process, okay? So where do we start? We start with the foundation. And so most people, okay, will say, yeah, I got a brand. Okay, I got an idea for an event. Okay, and then the next step they do is they come up here to the next step and now they go, all right, let's start marketing my event. So they start marketing it. Well, what are they marketing? Well, they're marketing how they're going to serve people. And through that service, they want a lot of money, right? Who doesn't? Okay, now if this represented real blocks, what do you think would happen? Okay, what would probably happen is it would follow fall over or else it would be something where you have to hold so it doesn't fall over. And this is why most people fail in business is because they'll start here with the service or they'll start here and be like, oh my gosh, it'd be so cool if I made this much money. Okay. It'd be so cool. Hold on. Making notes. So it'd be so cool if I made this much money and then they start inspirational masturbating oh god that'd be so awesome oh and then they get off and then they don't do shit that they should be doing in order to get this okay you deserve to make a lot of money okay however just because you deserve it doesn't mean the world's going to hand it over right we got to make sure we're building this so where do we start we start with the foundation okay the middle of the foundation that's you Okay, and I have this philosophy that if you want to buy, you got to be sold. Okay, if you, that didn't make sense. So I have this philosophy is if you want people to buy something, then you got to be sold on something. I don't, I believe it's extremely hard to sell something that you're first not bought on, right? Years ago, um, I was trying to recruit doctors and I just, I wasn't really bought into the process. I really wasn't bought into the company. And so as a result, I failed miserably. Okay. I ended up getting fired and I went all, that's when I went all in on my coach. So if you know anything about my story, that was the second time or actually, yeah, that was the second time I went out on my own. And when I finally committed to the coaching, which was something I was bought in, that's when it started to work, okay? It's extremely hard to buy, to sell something that you're first not bought in. So when we're, when we're talking about events, it first starts with you. It first starts, starts with what was your experience? Why do you wanna do this? Why is this important to you? Why did you go to an event in the first place? Why did you go to that retreat? Okay. Why did you go to that business convention? Why did you go to whatever it might be? Okay. So it first starts with your personal reason. And sometimes this is a selfish reason. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with it, but there's going to be two different whys. The first why is why are you doing it? And it's usually because of your reason. So I'm going to put here off to the side for a second. Our first why. Okay. So I'll put number one why is usually more about you, okay? It's usually about you. I love being in crowds of room. I love talking to people. I love sharing stories, okay? That's my personal selfish why. Our next why, okay, is usually is part of the foundation, okay? And the why is why are you doing events, okay? And this why is going to be more appeal to people. Okay. 
that's going to more appeal to people. Okay, why are you doing this? If you've ever heard uh, Simon Sinek talk, start with why, right? And the reason why we start with why is because how we make decisions. Okay, within our bodies and how we're programmed, when we start answering the why question, we're communicating to the part of the brain that is directly related to human behavior. Okay, when we answer the why question, we're talking directly to the part of the brain that is directly linked to human behavior in our actions. At the end of the day, you want people to move their bodies Okay, and come to your event, right? You got to start with why. Okay, so the next point is, okay, now I know why I'm doing this. All right, the next why is essentially, okay, what's the way I'm doing this? So here's why I want to create an event. So what's the way I'm doing it? Okay, what's the formula I'm going to be teaching them? All right, is it a one day, is it a two day? What's the process? What's the formula for success during that event? Okay, the next one is what is the transformation? Okay, if you can read that, what? What is the transformation? So if I go to this event, if I attend this retreat, what is gonna be the result if I come to this event? What's gonna happen? Okay, and then the last one, which is also another important one as well, which is who is this event for? Who am I trying to target? Okay, as the saying goes, the riches are made in the niches. Who's that one person we're trying to target? And usually that one person we're trying to target is you. It's a version of you. Okay, we're talking to a version of ourselves that would be most open for the events. Okay, so we're going to start with the four W's. Okay, so again, we got our why is about you. The second why is why is it for people? Okay, so usually your first why is more of a selfish reason. Okay, the second why is what's the movement about? What this, why are you doing this event? Why is it for the people? Okay, the third part is what's the way? Okay, the fourth one is what is the result? Okay, and as you're um, watching this, I want you to be writing this down. And then the last one is who is it for? Okay, who is this event for? So my first event I put together was called Strengthen Your World. Okay, it was um, that, that name of the event just came to me is I was thinking one day like, what, what would I want to name my event? And so I started to think about like why I wanted to do an event and why it was important. And one of my fundamental beliefs in life is you constantly have to keep strengthening your world. And your world and the world you live in right now is based upon what you believe, what you do, and how you view your experiences. We are who we are through our experiences. Your experiences can define you or you can define yourself through your experiences. Okay, so my fundamental belief about living life is you got to decide what your world is. Not your spouse, not your friends, not your parents, not the president, not the economy, not what's going over over there in the Middle East. Like you got to, you got to live in, you got to strengthen your world. Okay, so that was, that was one of my fundamental whys. Okay, and so that's why, so I named the event Strengthen Your World. Now the way, okay, which I kind of uh, just mentioned here in the first place, is to give you the leadership mindsets, the leadership skill sets, and to create an experience that allows you to really learn about yourself. So it's the three-step process. Essentially, be, do, have. Mind, body, spirit. Okay, Identity, behaviors, okay, and and, and experiences. Okay, so that's the formula, three steps. So on the website, you're going to see the way it's put together, okay? What's the transformation? You're going to unleash your inner leader and unleash your inner power in two days. You're going to learn, you're going to grow more in two days 
at this event than you will in two years. So that's what's the transformation. Who is it for? Business leaders that want to scale their influence, income, and time freedom. Okay, so I'm very specific, okay, in what those are. And then as time goes on, and this will be true for you as it's true for me, as time goes on, you're gonna be able to dial these down more and more and more. Okay, so over time, I thought strength in your world, that's great, but it really doesn't, like the title itself really doesn't share like what this event is all, all about. So I started to create a subtitle, strength in your world, leadership experience, right? Because that's what I really wanted people to take away. This isn't just a training. This isn't just a how-to. This is an actual experience, okay? So we're going on seven years of that event. Uh, all the other events, we've changed the name and um, changed the branding based upon these four Ws over the years, but Strength in Your World is the only one that I haven't changed its name, okay? So this is where we start. We start with the foundation, Okay, which is your four W's. Everything you first do in business starts with these four W's. Why are you doing it? What's the way are you doing it? Who is it for? What's the transformation? Okay, you're creating another retreat, another event, same thing. You're creating a new program. Okay, you're creating a new, a new service, a new product, what, whatever the case might be, you're always starting with the next gen brand foundations, which is your four W's. Why do you do what you do? What's the way you do it? Who do you work with? And what's the transformation? Okay, it's the messaging. When people struggle with the marketing, usually it's because they're not certain with the foundation. They struggle in what, the, what are we doing at this event? You know, what's the way it's put together? So they struggle up here because the foundation. So everything we first do in your business is gonna start with these four W's. So this is where we start. In the next video, in the third video, we're gonna go even deeper. Okay, when do we schedule the events? Okay, the how to, scheduling, where, all, all the little things. So we're gonna start looking at the macro. Okay, we're gonna go over the step by steps. Where do we hold this event? Okay, all these little things. What do, we, what do we do to really get this event out there? So we're gonna be covering all these questions that you have. Okay, but first you gotta understand that it's important to ask and answer these basic questions. Usually when people get caught up later in the process, it's because they skipped this process right here. They really didn't talk about or answer the four W's. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, we're going to get down to the details, all the questions that you have. Okay, good talk, and we'll talk to you soon.